Earlier we saw how Scotch whisky has fallen foul of the fakers. It's not just the modern whiskies. In Blackpool, online whisky auctioneer Angus McCrailed deals in rare vintage whiskies, a commodity that's in great demand. Whisky in general, particularly malt whiskies and vintage malt whiskies, in the last few years at auctions have been getting increasingly more valuable and prices are going up all the time. It's a problem now that as more money comes into whisky than certainly on the secondary market, the auction market, then more fake bottles appear. Now it's common for some genuinely old bottles to fetch thousands of pounds at auction, some even tens of thousands. But there are fakers out there buying empty antique bottles and refilling them with a modern liquid. And as a result, collectors up and down the country are getting duped into buying what they think is a bottle of liquid history. Turns out to be nothing more than a worthless fake. I'll give you a couple of examples. Uh, we've got here a few Macallans. This one here, we know this is a fake, but to the outward eye, it looks okay. You know, the untrained eye might just see that and think, yeah, it's a bottle of whiskey, it's a bottle of Macallan, it's fine. But for an eagle-eyed auctioneer like Angus, there are a few telltale signs that the bottle's been refilled. First of all, the capsule looks pretty shoddy. It looks like it's been reworked to some extent. That's a really telltale sign because normally on capsules, they should be very tight, very clean. It's not the only way to spot the fakes. You give it a shake, you get this froth that just sits there. The froth, or beading as it's known in the trade, indicates how strong the liquid inside the whiskey bottle is. But when Angus compares the real one to the fake, it's pretty obvious which is which. You give them both a shake and you notice immediately the differences. The beading here dies down in concurrence with the 43% alcohol whiskey. This who knows, maybe it's single cast washing up liquid, I don't know, but it's not the real deal. Being a fake, it's worth a couple of quid at most. If it was genuine, it would fetch around 700 pounds. But the effect is not just on the price of the whiskey. In the last few years, Angus has noticed, as the number of fake refilled bottles has gone up, so has the price for genuine empty bottles. Here's an empty bottle of Macallan Private Eye which is being sold online and the price that's being asked is £199. 200 quid for an empty bottle does seem a touch steep, but if you scroll through the elaborate photo gallery and description, you'll find a rather interesting sales pitch. Bottle is empty, £1,500 when full. Check out Bonham's auction or something. If you click the link, Lo and behold, you'll find a recent sale at auction where a full bottle fetched one and a half thousand pounds. It's clear that they know what someone who buys it's probably going to do with it. Refill it, 199 buys you an empty one, and if you've got the means to refill it and reseal it, then there's definite motivation there for people to go and fake a bottle and, you know, make money on it. Terrible. 